Hello, this is Tim Schrock, Mr. Wizard here again with another Chief Architect Tricks tutorial. I've got the situation where the existing conditions show a stairway with the last, in this particular case, the last two treads are extended beyond the wall. So typically our Chief Architect stairs are straight down uh, straight up, straight down, and uh, we need to show how to sh how to uh, put make this extend out here like this to actually mimic what's going on in real life. So let's take a look at the picture one more time. I've noticed that uh, there's actually only two treads. In the model, I'm showing three treads beyond the wall. The wall is where, according to the field measurements, where we want it. But I'm just filling in the gaps of the stairs here. So I'm going to move this end of the wall, end of the stairs, to where that third riser, i got one, two, third riser here right at the edge of the of the wall. That way only two treads are extended. Now the thickness of my wall is a standard four and a half inch wall. I've got a three and a half inch stud plus half inch on either side for a total of four and a half. So I'm going to double click on the stairs to open this interior staircase specification dialog. I need to make sure that winders here is checked and then go to style. Your version of Chief Architect may have uh, may not have this uh, layout for style. It might be tabs across the top but in any case you need to go to style. I know this has been there for a couple of versions at least. Uh, Max Tread Contraction. I think by default, Chief has set it at two inches. We're going to change this to four. And I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to bring this edge of the stairs just beyond halfway. Let me zoom in on this. Just beyond halfway of the of the wall. So like so. And looky there. I could bring it all the way to the edge of the wall, even. And notice now how the how the stairs wraps. The last two treads wrap around the wall. Let's take a quick rendering. Nice. Now in my case here, we do not have railings on the left hand side. Uh, uh, before the we get to the wall, so let's see what we can do about that. Newell's balusters. Again, you may have tabs across the top. Let's turn off the railing on the right. Let's turn off railing transitions on the left. Hmm, that's not what I wanted. I may have to turn railings off altogether on the left. Yeah. When I turn it off all just at the wall, you'll notice there's no railings there on at this wall, but I want it uh, I want it off down here, the first two treads. So sometimes you gotta work through things. I'm going to turn the railings off on both left and right. Now that's interesting. I'm going to 
hit F12 on my keyboard is rebuild walls, floors, and ceilings. That didn't do it. Hmm. Okay, I just had to reset it. Whoop. Let's bring it back a scotch. There we go. Not quite full width. Or it actually covered up the wall. There we go. Now I would just create a, um, take a section. I'm going to draw a line and turn it into a molding polyline. Start with a line that's parallel to the tips of all the uh, stair treads. I'm going to move this up, transform replicate down here. When I selected the line, I'm transform replicate, and I'm going to move that up. In this case, I'm going to move it Y in the up direction of the screen. We'll do 34 inches. That didn't do anything because that moved it. Chief recognizes this as a section, so Y is actually going to be moving it um, in a different direction. So let's move it in the Z direction, 34 inches, which remember is up in the model space. Bring this back to the wall like so. Now I'm going to use this tool, which is Convert Polyline, into a 3D molding polyline. That's fine. Select my molding. By default, it has a square molding. I could add several moldings to it, to this line. But I only need one, so I'm going to replace the square with architectural molding handrails. I'm going to choose round. We're going to make it uh, two, uh, two and a quarter. <clears throat> there we go. I want to move it in the X direction. I won't see anything in this view because it, it just moves it in and out of the screen in this view, but in plan view, it would change it. So let's do this. You can just barely see that brown molding polyline. It, it extends right down to here. There we go. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this so that we can see what happens when I change it in the section view. I'm going to select it in section view. Transform replicate. In plan view, I actually want to move it in the Y direction, don't I? Because that's in plan view, up is is in on the screen that direction. So I'm going to move it uh, one and a half inches north, if you will, in plan. This will not change. This will move up inch and a half, and we'll see it move to the right an inch and a half here. See that? This didn't move. This moved an inch and a half, and this moved off the wall. So there you have stairs and a little bit of handrails. Thanks for watching.